and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to today's video. So hopefully we finally got a really exciting one. I am hopefully getting out eventing today and I'm still saying hopefully because last time we made it to the event and still didn't go eventing. Um, I don't think I have actually explained this but basically we were meant to be at Aston two weeks ago in the novice and Phoenix we had to go in the trailer because the lorry still wasn't back. The lorry is now back, so that is definitely a plus. Um, but yeah, so we finally got the lorry back. But anyway, we went in the trailer and she's never been great to travel in the trailer, but never too awful. But anyway, we got there and she had ripped both her back shoes off and in the process cut all her back legs. So obviously we weren't eventing. Um, she made quite a mess of her back feet because she's not got the greatest feet anyway. Um, I'm on about Phoenix by the way, I don't know if I've actually said, this is Phoenix. Um, yeah, I'm finally inventing Phoenix again, this is really exciting. Um, so yeah, we didn't actually manage to get eventing, but hopefully today is finally the day we're going to Little Downham. I have got the most, probably the latest times I've ever had eventing. I am going dressage at half four, show jumping at 20 past six and cross country at seven and it's about two hours away so gonna be a late one tonight and i'm also eventing pixie tomorrow but that is a separate vlog i'm sure you will see that coming up soon um so yeah it's all about phoenix today it's currently about 20 to 12 we want to leave about half one um i've got time to walk the cross country between dress sergeant show jumping so i'll do that and I just need to watch my dressage test because it's a new one and I cannot get it in my head and I can't find any videos online to watch it so I'm gonna have to watch a couple when we get there um but yeah I'm gonna go and get Phoenix she is behind me there um gonna go and get her in obviously it's not ideal at the moment with our setup we've got nowhere indoors to bath um so I'm just gonna have to do it outside with buckets I've been and got a hot water bucket because I'm gonna hot cloth um everywhere but her white legs and her tail um so i'll hot cloth her and then properly wash her whites and her tail and get some chalk on them and stuff so we're going to do that and then i will plait her last minute because she's really bad for rubbing plaits out so i always have to do it as like the last thing before we go so i'll do that and then we will get on the road but yeah um i've got my mum coming with us and paul so there should be lots of footage if you don't know paul is He's been in a vlog before, probably a couple of years ago now. He's been away working, um, but he's now back. And yeah, so he's gonna help film today. So I should get lots of footage. But yeah, I'm gonna go and grab Phoenix in. Sorry if it's a bit windy, you can't hear me. I've actually broke the muff off the camera. So it doesn't break the wind anymore, which is really annoying. Um, but yeah, I've got Phoenix in now. I'm gonna hot cloth first. I just get hot water with a bit of baby oil in it and hot cloth her and then I will wash her back legs properly and her tail, plait her tail, chalk her back legs, bandage them and then I'm just going to put her on this little patch that's in front of me which I'll show you when I do um, and let her chill there for a bit until I need to platter because I'll get everything loaded up before I platter because as I said I literally have to platter last minute um, but yeah so I'm going to crack on, I don't want to be late and get ready to go I think um obviously all tack is there bucket saddle pads back protector and then studs that's my dress sergeant show jumping hat and gloves and stuff like that I got that in a four lock and fringe box and it's very handy actually there's some back travel boots for the way back because she's obviously bandaged on the way there water boots because stupid I forgot to do her some ice but she'll be fine then my kit's all in there, and then I've just got and then hay net, there's another hay net up there from the way back. That has got all my grooming stuff, uh, numbers, whip, all like bits and bobs are in there, cross country hats up there, but I need to just have a look if I've got another silk for it because that one's a bit wrecked. 
it ended up in the back of the trailer with Phoenix, I don't know how. Um, so yeah, I need to have a look for another one. And then I just think I need a feed bucket and another hat silk. So that's all packed up and ready to go pretty much. Um, Phoenix is just chilling for now. Got loads of grass in it because it hasn't been used in, I don't know, about a month and a half. Um, so she's quite happily munching. Um, but yeah, I just need to plat her up. And then we're about ready to get on the road, to be fair. Um, yeah, I don't think there's that much more to do. I need to get her a tail bandage and a tail guard and a bum thing. She likes to rub, rub and rub even more. And you need some front travel routes and overreach all round. She's gone really dark and I don't know why. That's because I've hot coughed her. She's gone like a lot darker than she usually is. Um, but yeah, I think we're about getting the thread plaits unless I really want to because they take so long. Um, so yeah, just banded. Phoenix's mane It's always like a bit flat to plait. Um, it's not the easiest but she's all geared up travel boots, all round over each boots because you're a bit of a plonk on the right view. And tail bandage, tail guard. <laughs> yeah, everything on. So hopefully we have no accidents this time. That would be good, wouldn't it? So we're just loading her up. We'll be ready to go. She's just seen, she's now loaded, just waiting on the brigade to get a move on and leave. Um, what is the time? I don't actually know what the time is. Past the time we're meant to be leaving. And they're all inside, which is always handy. So I've loaded the horse up, done everything. And as usual, the rest of them aren't ready. Right, so we have now arrived. Phoenix is straight off. I've just very quickly studded her up in this partition. Um, just getting the box out because it's got some stuff in that we need. And then, yes, we're just tucking up and getting ready to go. We've actually managed to cut it quite fine. I'm not sure how. Um, just moving out the way of a reversing lorry. Um, but yeah, here she is, looking quite smart. Mummy keeps walking her in the poo. But got very white leggies, and she's all stood up, so I just need to get attacked up. I'm pretty much ready. And then, right, so we're now about ready. I'm just trying to quickly give her a bit of bottom. Yes, it's true, I'm falling hard for you But 
had a mistake where, I don't know, I need to watch the video, it felt to me like she changed. Dress our scores. What should you be like? Sorry. Like from a 26 to a 40. 34. 34. 37. Hey, about 33. like pretty much ran around the cross country hence the red face um but she's now tacked up and ready to go show jumping i'm obviously ready um just need some gloves which are here on the floor she is We just had a very quick turnaround for cross country. Oh, I've just shot. I've come back to get my gloves because I forgot to put them back on. Um, I've got my coat on and my next is pretty chilly. Mummy's took the horse down and pool. I was going to put my number down. Um, so yeah, hopefully it won't be too long because little down will always do this. Like towards the end, they just go to putting numbers down. So yeah, they've done that.
So we have not long got back, um, sorry I didn't really finish the vlog off but I'm also not going to finish it off right now because it is currently half past ten. I am up eventing a lot earlier in the day tomorrow, still like ten o'clock times but it's an hour away and I need to obviously swap the lorry over for Pixie because I didn't do it tonight. I don't know where the chain is for this gate, I'll just shut it to you. Oh, that is a horrible noise. Sorry, guys. Ooh. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to leave this for here for today because it is, well, it's currently half past ten. I've still got to drive home and I am eventing first thing tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's been a really good day. Um, Phoenix was mega. So very, very pleased, but I will give you a full roundup tomorrow. Um, so well, hopefully I've had another good day on Pixie, but who knows? Um, so All right, yeah. so I'm finally here to finish the vlog. Um, sorry, I'm stood in the shade and it's a bit dark. I have, as I've explained, not got a muff thing on the camera, so I'm just stood out the wind a minute. Um, but I am going to invest in some microphones very soon, so hopefully I'll have them soon. And we can sort out that problem because that will be good. Um, but yeah, eventing with Phoenix. Um, probably not the best result on paper, I'm not going to lie. But we are really, really happy with her. And for her first novice run in two years. And I didn't really want to take her straight out at novice again. I wanted to get a 100 run in first. Um, but obviously with how everything went, that didn't happen. So she went straight out now at novice. And yeah, I'm actually really pleased with her she got a 34 dressage um i didn't pick up the sheet because i completely forgot i'm not gonna lie so i'll probably just talk you through that but yeah um her dressage was good um we had that one mistake where she just changed that's the only problem she's been taught changes not by me she'd already been taught them when we got her but she'd been taught changes and now she'd much rather change than do counter canter so we had practiced a lot of counter canter but clearly just quite didn't quite get it in that test which was a shame but it is what it is um it's something we can work on so i will definitely be doing that so yeah she got 34 dressage which is pretty much bang average so that is fine and she's never been a dressage diva anyway i'm just a bit concerned i'm getting creosote on my top leading on the creosote fence and then show jumping the ground the video will not do it justice the ground in the warm-up was shocking um very very sticky tacky pure like mud and then the arena wasn't too bad but obviously the landing and takeoff points really weren't good it felt to me like she skidded a bit into fence one it doesn't look like it so maybe she didn't um but it felt like it anyway and then down the distance, I think it was four to five, she just added, and she doesn't usually add like that, um, and then ended up getting a bit of a funny stride into the oxa, and then couldn't quite get herself out, so had both parts of that down, which was a shame, but it was through poles, which is really annoying, but I don't think she deserved that really, because she did really try, like some of the oxas, she was jumping huge, like trying to get herself out of the mud. Um, so yeah it's just a shame like that is definitely like an old phoenix score but she didn't feel like she deserved that and she definitely is going a lot better so yeah it is what it is um show jumping is always going to be the weakest phase for me in phoenix so but we're getting there um we are putting a lot of work into it and then cross country she was absolutely mega um i did forget to take my cross country bit so i was in a snaffle a waterford snaffle so still a fairly strong bit but yeah i couldn't hold it i pretty much just stayed around um so yeah she kind of was left to her own devices it did mean at times we did just get a bit of an awkward stride but that course was quite a big technical course for our first novice back so the fact that she went round clear and 
didn't really have any backwards moments or anything. Um, yeah, I was really pleased that the only time she did go a bit backwards was the first water, um, which a lot were having problems at anyway. She just chipped a few strides in and then went. So yeah, can't really complain with that. And then, so yeah, she finished. She got a handful of time. Um, I wasn't really going for time. I didn't even put my watch on because it was more just, it was our first run back. The ground wasn't amazing. It wasn't bad out cross country, but it wasn't amazing. Um, so yeah, it, I didn't go for time. So we got like five time or something, which I don't think is bad to say. I wasn't really pushing around. Uh, so we finished on 46, I want to say something, something like that, around there. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really pleased and looking forward to the next one. I'm actually going away for a week and I'm literally taking her like three days after I get back. So my mum is going to keep her ticket for me. Um, so yeah, it might not be our best one, our next one. But I wanted to keep getting them out and Phoenix, out of all of them, is one that I can just get on and take whereas Pixie would never be able to do that. So yeah, looking forward to that. Um, excited to take her there and crack on with the season a bit now. Um, but yeah, that is my first event vlog of the season, which is crazy saying that when we are into June now um, and the weather is still rubbish. Apart from today, today's quite a nice day. It's been like 21 degrees. Um, I'm actually filming this clip the day I'm uploading it. I evented on Friday. I was just too tired. We got back from eventing Pixie yesterday at like two o'clock and I had to just go home. I was so tired. Um, so yeah, anyway, that is my first event of the season. All done. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.